हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम 1997 एग्जाम इट्स अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन एंड इज अ रियली इंटरेस्टिंग वन लेट मी रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट लेट एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड इज इक्वल टू एक्स बार प्लस वाई बार एक्स बार प्लस वाई बार एक्स प्लस एक्स जेड बी ए स्विचिंग फंक्शन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज वैलिड सो यू कैन सी आई एव ऑलरेडी नोटेड डाउन ऑल द फोर ऑप्शन गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वाई बार एक्स इज अ प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट ऑफ एफ सम ऑफ यू माइट थिंक वाई बार एक्स इज प्रेजेंट इन द एक्सप्रेशन सो दिस वन विल बी अ प्राइम एम्प्लीकेंट बट द थिंग इज they never mentioned that this is the minimal sop okay even if you can find out y bar x as it is in this expression still you can't say that this is the answer okay there is a doubt this may or may not be correct okay thing is this one is not minimal you can clearly see it can be further minimized by using absorption law here this will be y bar plus sorry x bar plus y bar plus x z okay just apply absorption law on these two okay and you can see y bar x is vanished from this uh, expression so option a is wrong it's not a prime implicant of f okay next you can see it could be further minimized x bar plus y bar plus z so this is the minimal expression okay anyways you can't just directly declare that this one is minimal you always have to draw the k map for declaring any expression to be minimal but uh, with experience you can just simply get to know if expression is minimal or not anyways k map is the best method we'll also go with the k map first of all let's see a few things so this one is surely wrong next option b is xz is a min term of f now function is of three variables okay x y and z any min term or max term of this function has to contain three literals always okay two literals won't just make a min term so this one is also surely wrong but for the sake of practice we'll be finding out all the min terms of this expression or this function let us do that so there is a doubt that this may or may not be minimal we'll confirm it by making the k map it is x bar y bar plus z let us write it somewhere so i'm writing it here x bar y bar plus z so now you know for getting the canonical sop from any expression you need to expand it first let's do that so you can see i have expanded this expression to find out all the min terms as well as i have filled the k map let's see how this expansion is done this is x bar the two literals that are missing from this term are y and z so just try to include both of those literals see this is x bar multiply it with y plus y bar then multiply it with z plus z bar okay effectively we are doing nothing this will just evaluate evaluate to x bar only because y plus y bar is 1 z plus z bar uh, z bar is 1 so x bar dot 1 dot 1 is ob uh, obviously x bar only okay similarly you can just do it for these two terms also so we have x y bar multiply it with z plus z bar and here uh, y is missing so you have x y plus y bar z okay so upon solving it you will get these eight terms out of which 
these two are repetitions okay so effectively we have seven main terms for this expression they are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 so parallelly i have filled this k map now you just see for minimizing this k map you will make groups like this okay this one is the biggest group now you need to include this one first thing is you can make a group of two second thing is you can make a group of four so go with the group of four here also to include this first option is make a group of two like this okay second option is make a group of two like this but why not go for a group of four if it's possible so this is how grouping will be done and you can confirm that the minimal expression will be x bar plus y bar plus z so this group will uh, would lead to z this one this group would lead to x bar and this group this one uh, the corner these four ones they would lead to y bar okay and this is the minimal expression or the minimal SOP. Now we were analyzing this option B. They are saying XZ is a min term. That's not even possible because min term will have three literals. Anyways, all the min terms for this question are written here. Okay, these are the min terms. This one is just a duplicate. Now let's analyze option C. XZ is an implicant of F. Yeah, this has to be correct because xz is present here okay any term which is any product term which is present in any step of derivation is always a implicant what this means is whenever implicant means whenever xz is one okay whenever xz is one entire function will be one let me repeat it or let me rephrase it Whenever value of a implicand is 1, the value of function has to be 1. Now you can simply see that whenever xz is 1, this would lead to 1. Okay, because you have a or between all these 3. Any one of these 3, if leads to 1, the function's value will be 1. So option C, xz is an implicand is 2. And still if you have some doubt, from this k map you can just find xz okay so xz is x is 1 for this column sorry for this as well as this column and z is 1 for this entire column that means xz is this this is your xz and this one is a implicant no doubt it's not the prime implicant of for this question but still it's a implicant whenever xz is 1 at all those inputs uh, the function will lead to 1 or output high so option d says y is a prime implicant of f for prime implicants we have already seen in option a also for finding out prime implicants we need the minimal sop and in minimal sop you can see y bar is present so y bar is the uh, is a prime implicant that also means y cannot be the prime implicant so this one is wrong so from here you can see we have three prime implicants okay just just let me repeat this point for finding out implicant at any step or at any uh, equivalent expression even if it's not minimal you can see if this if any term is present that can be said as an implicant but for finding out prime implicants you'll always analyze the minimal one okay so your answer is option c uh, xz is an implicant of f okay